If you look at the front, of, front page of your bulletin, you'll see that today is the first Sunday of Lent on the church calendar. Now here in Christ Church in Leavenworth, we use the church calendar used by some of the reformers. Um, they didn't want to abandon a Christian calendar, but they did want, they didn't want the Roman Catholic one bloated with saints days. They trimmed the calendar down to the five evangelical feast days. These were Christmas, Good Friday, Easter, Ascension, and Pentecost. The second Helvetic Confession puts it this way. Moreover, if in Christian liberty, the churches religiously celebrate the memory of the Lord's nativity, circumcision, passion, resurrection, and of his ascension into heaven and the sending of the Holy Spirit upon his disciples, we approve of it highly. But we do not approve of feasts instituted for men and for saints. Holy days have to do with the first table of the law and belong to God alone. So, what is the deal with Lent? There are a couple issues with the way the modern church celebrates Lent, um, and not all of the churches that are celebrating Lent are... Catholic, which is sometimes surprising. Um, one, one thing that we want to steer, steer clear of is uh, 40 days of na- navel-gazing. We don't want a large chunk of the church calendar to be dedicated um, to increased burdens of guilt, uh, especially, especially as we approach Easter. Another issue is the Ash Wednesday tradition, uh, which kicks off the Lent season in most churches. But in Matthew 6, 17, Jesus told his disciples, And when you fast, do not look gloomy like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces, that their fasting may be seen by others. Truly I say to you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face. Your fasting may not be seen by others, but by your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you. So, when we fast... We are to do so with a washed and smiling face. We are to fast for God and not for man. The bigger issue, though, is that a 40-day affliction in the Christian church calendar misses an important aspect of the calendar God created in the old, under the Old Covenant. Under the Old Covenant, there were seven feasts that marked the year. These are listed in Leviticus 23, Leviticus starts, Leviticus 23 starts out this way in verse one. The Lord spoke to Moses saying, speak to the people of Israel and say to them, these are the appointed feasts of the Lord that you shall proclaim as holy convocations. They are my appointed feasts. The first feast was the Sabbath. Yes, the Sabbath is a feast, not just a day of rest. The second was Passover, the feast of unleavened bread, seven days of feasting. The third feast was the feast of the first fruits to commemorate the first taken from the harvest, the very first taken from the harvest. The fourth feast was the feast of weeks to commemorate the full harvest once it came in, so it was 50 days after the feast of first fruits. The fifth was the feast of trumpets, a rest in the beginning of the seventh month, just one day of rest and feast. The sixth is the day of atonement a day of affliction and fasting. The final feast of the Jewish calendar was the Feast of Booths, a seven-day festival just five days after the Day of Atonement. So those are the feasts that God gave to his people. And if you do the math and if you add those all up, you get 18 days of feasting, 18 days of food and drink and festival, and one day of affliction, one day of fasting, the Day of Atonement. Now, in the new covenant, which is better, which is a better and more glorious covenant than the old covenant, why would we have 39 more days of affliction on our calendar since Christ has come? Lent is simply the season of the church calendar that leads us up to Easter. As we approach Easter, it is good to reflect on the empty tomb for longer than just Holy Week, but do it with a washed face with a smiling face. Do it by throwing an extra large family meal at your house. Go big on your Sabbath dinner. Throw a couple extra bucks on that budget. 
Get the extra gallon of ice cream or two. Take your kids on that fun date you have been far too busy for. Buy up some extra Reese's, of course. Surprise your family with donuts in the morning, or I guess in the evening. Feast as we approach Easter. We have much to be grateful for and much work to do. So don't spend the next 36 days wallowing in guilt for your sins that Christ has already forgiven. Confess them quickly and joyfully and get right back into the fray. Amen.